think it's a very easy argument. Their expertise does not apply to our health. So a complete network of a certain percentage. I'm here with Shelley from the Dutch Cycling Embassy, right in the middle of Utrecht. Most of the critique that we hear in Portugal is that, okay, the Dutch know how to do it, but they live in a flat country, so their expertise does not apply to our hills. I know I've been in Lisbon, some okay. hills are very steep. I think it's a very easy argument. If this would be correct, every country which is as flat as the Netherlands, and they exist, parts of Germany or parts of Denmark, in the East, Middle East there are quite some flat countries, quite some island groups are quite flat, they're almost sinking almost in the ocean. So if we only cycle because it's flat here, why other flat countries don't cycle? Uh, loads of cities develop along coasts, along waterways, uh, besides lakes. We generally try to build there where it's most convenient, where the surface is also fertile, so you can grow veggies and stuff. You will see that loads of places around the world are built on semi-flat land. If you look into the percentages of the increase coming from semi-sea level to going up, uh, you will see it in Nijmegen or Maastricht or other cities. But also we have quite some bridges, especially in historical city centers, which have an angle which is also quite steep. If you have some steepness in it, you will still be able to cycle there, uh, as long as it's not only <laughs> going steep, steep, steep. We can work around it, we can work with it, and we can make it work. Something where we are in the Netherlands very familiar with are very uh, strong headwinds. Mm -hmm. So you're cycling in a boulder, which is flat, grass, no trees, so the wind can go like crazy. Yeah, you will be sweaty, but ideally it's it's a small part of your journey, as small as possible. Sometimes maybe you have a bottleneck, but I'm sure you can overcome it if the rest of the network, if the rest of your routes is enjoyable, comfortable, safe. Sometimes I feel like you might need to have a complete network of a certain percentage and then people will not use those arguments anymore. It doesn't have to be good 100%. It's, that's, I think, not uh, where we should strive for. But of course, you need to have a certain level which everyone enjoys and feels safe with and feel comfortable. And then those heavy bits or the steep bits or the very windy bits we as a cyclist will start accepting that and we i mean a very big chunk of average people who cycle <laughs>